Morning reefing peoples. Want to do a quick update on my coral only tank. Uh, a quick review. This is a Innovative Marine 25 Lagoon. <clears throat> I'm running three reef bright Lumi lights, uh, two blues and a blue and white. Uh, it gives uniform the coverage all the way across at the base about 200 par. So that's what we're dealing with. <clears throat> now you ask yourself, wh why are you doing this? Uh, to see if I could, honestly, it's the only answer. Uh, and I can. With some species. That's the whole point of this, this video. Okay. The species that are left are... All the way over here, it's a, a Puslapore doing great, a Digitata, which was damaged in shipment, but it's recovered. You can see the new growth on it. That's okay. This Puslapore is doing great. This is a Stylophora, I'm almost positive, and it's doing okay. This Digitata was broken in shipment, and that's it, the other piece of it. And, you know, they're not breaking any records, but they're, they're doing okay. This is supposed to be a uh, the Syriatopora, but I'm starting to have my doubts. It looks more Stylophora-ish to me, but it could be. There is one, uh, the species, uh, the Syriatopora calendrum, I believe it is, that isn't real sharp on the end. It could be that. This is the only Acropora in here. Uh, this is an Acropora millipora. And it's doing great, except it's not growing up. It's growing out and then starting to coat the base. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not, but it's real pretty. I don't have a filter on this camera. I'm sorry. It's real, real pretty. Uh, it's green with red, the polyps. I love it. This is another, uh, the Styla the Fora. This is a Poslopora. That's the, the, the brother of this Digitata that broke. And this is another Stylophora. So, what does well in this tank? Now, all the parameters of this water are the same as any reef tank, except nitrates and phosphates are both zero as measured on a hobby test kit. They're probably not zero, but they are on a hobby the, the test kit. Because there's nothing in here. There's no inverse, there's no fish, there's no anything, just corals. So, what's doing great are the Poslopora. One, two, three. What's doing okay are these others, the Stylophora, and that is supposed to be a Syrieta the Pora. I'd say the Digitata would be next in terms of the growth rate, and then the last growth rate is the Acropora, which you might expect that to be true. So uh, it can be done. Uh, once a week, I clean this tank. Uh, I pick up their little bases, and while they're underwater, I gently brush off the ickies. You can see there's some slime that gets on there. But other than that, there's really no algae in this tank. There's no anything in this tank, just corals. Uh, and I'll show you uh, what I feed them here in a, in a second. Okay, so every morning, just when the lights come on, they get a big dose of this stuff. The Red Sea Reef Energy Plus. And then at night, right when the lights are getting ready to go off, I alternate between they get they either get this or this or this. These are reef roids, you've all you've seen this. This is the spirulina, the powder. Does this do them any good? I don't know. It does every living thing on the planet it's good for, so I'm gonna assume it's good for corals. <laughs> That's my theory. And then I just I'm trying this now. Uh, to see what what their response is to, to this. I uh, don't know yet. It's too new. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is this stuff stinks. It really, really does not smell good. Okay, so uh, that's what's going on, and uh, it's working. Why would you want to do this? I don't know. It's something fun. All right, I'll see you later.